All right, well, in continuing coverage as cities along the Mississippi River gear up for flooding, Buffalo, Iowa is getting ready. And News H Joe McCoy is here with how that area is preparing. Joe? Yeah, good evening, Devin. Currently, the Mississippi River levels are at 17 feet in Buffalo, Iowa. Now, the National Weather Service projects that number to rise to roughly 21 feet within a week, less than two feet away from the record of more than 22 feet set in 2019. These flood risks are very real, and the city of Buffalo is taking no chances. Volunteers like Adam Garisher spending their chilly weekend helping the community. The community for as many years as Buffalo's been around, you know, we really get together pretty well and, you know, build walls for everybody and help everybody out. It's pretty cool. Here in Buffalo, Iowa, dozens are embodying the phrase that many hands make for light work. In 2019, the entire town of Buffalo suffered severe flooding, something they are desperately trying to avoid this time around. So I've done everything I can uh, to get as much sand here that I possibly could. Josh Ferkel is the city of Buffalo's public works director. Just in like my reserves, I believe we have 135,000 sandbags. So the 2019, I believe we used 85,000 sandbags. And moving forward, I'm probably gonna increase that stockpile by three times. It'd be nice if we could fill probably somewhere around 10 to 20,000 sandbags. Increasing the number of sandbags and also the efficiency in which they are made. We have a trailer that was supplied to us by the Scott County Emergency Management System. Um, that trailer has a uh, hopper on it, a conveyor belt that will automatically feed the sandbags for the volunteers. These sandbags are free for any Buffalo resident that needs them. It's huge because there's some residents that can't come out and do this on you know, themselves because of their, their age or what have you. Adam expects to use at least a couple hundred sandbags to build a two to three foot high wall around his property. Now they used to have to manually shovel sand into the bags, so this system has really come a long way. Residents can also request to have a truckload of sand dumped in their driveway if they prefer to fill bags themselves. Devin, back to you. Yeah, all right, and residents can contact the city to pick up sandbags, and that information is also on our website at WQAD.com.